Reports from the Port Mosby General Hospital's CEO's office state the hospital is reaching a crisis point. CEO Dr. Paki Molomi, through an update, stated the hospital urgently needs additional resources and manpower to combat the current surge. Per the situation report, all holding bays are full with COVID-19 patients. From the Ostmat triage tent, the emergency department, the isolation ward and all other beds from different sections. While the influx of COVID-positive patients continue to rise, the hospital's medical and nursing staff are also being infected at an alarming rate. POMGEN reports that 52 medical and 47 nursing staff are in isolation after testing positive, per the update for the last 24 hours. This has added strain to manpower. The few staff left, according to the report, are overworked and fatigued as they work 24 hours to cover shifts of their infected colleagues. The report further states the hospital is witnessing death tolls never seen in its history. In the last three days, according to the update, POMGH recorded 50 deaths on admission on Monday, 40 on Tuesday and 30 deaths yesterday. The CEO says currently the hospital is understaffed and under-resourced amidst this surge, as all limited resources are focused on COVID patients, adding they are struggling to attend to the everyday health care needs of the community. Pomgen authorities say without a stronger enforcement of the nuplapazin measures and a large proportion of the population being unvaccinated, the institution faces an imminent collapse. Kilawani National MTV News.